must have. There are three classes of physicians. Superior, mediocre and inferior. The inferior physician feels the patient's pulse. Merely asks him to take medicine and then goes away. He doesn't bother to find out whether the patient has followed his instructions. The mediocre physician gently tries to persuade the patient to take the medicine. He says, Look here, how can you get well without medicine? Take the medicine, my dear. I am preparing it with my own hands. But the superior physician follows a different method. If he finds the patient stubbornly refusing to swallow the medicine, he presses the patient's chest with his knee and forces the medicine down his throat. Doctor, there is a form of treatment that does not require the physician to press the patient's chest with his knee. For instance, homeopathy. Master, there is no fear. If a good physician presses the patient's chest with his knee. Like the physicians, there are three classes of religious teachers. The inferior teacher is content with merely giving spiritual instruction. He doesn't bother about the student after that. The mediocre teacher explains the teaching again and again for the good of the student that he may assimilate it. He persuades the student through love and kindness to follow it. But the superior teacher uses force, if necessary, on the stubborn student. To the doctor, the renunciation of woman and gold is meant for the shunnashi. He must not look even at the picture of a woman. Do you know what a woman is to a man? She is like spiced pickle. The very thought of pickle brings water to the tongue. It doesn't have to be brought near the tongue. But this renunciation is not meant for householders like you. It is meant only for shunnashis. You may live among women as far as possible in a spirit of detachment. Now and then you must retire into solitude and think of God. Women must not be allowed there. You can lead an unattached life to a great extent if you have faith in God and love for Him. After the birth of one or two children, a married couple should live as brother and sister. They should then constantly pray to God 
that their minds may not run after sense pleasures anymore and that they may not have any more children